We're coming to the governor's office today to ask him to stop uh, the impending cuts at, for cleaning services at the MBTA. The proposed cuts would take effect September 1st and would eliminate 100 of the 300 current T janitor jobs. Union Vice President Roxanne Rivera said she believes this cut will leave tea stations filthy. These are workers that clean the urine, the vomit, the feces in the MBTA stations. If you cut that by a third, there's, it is impossible for workers to keep the stations clean. And the stations like 24-7. Uh, We're cleaning a little bit in one area and an hour later you're going to come back and do the same thing. Rivera said that these janitors are currently the lowest paid workers at tea stations and are made up of largely immigrants who take the tea themselves. The impacts of this proposed cut would stretch far and wide and it's leaving workers and their families wondering what's next. I don't know what would happen but she will, but then she won't have any money and she won't get to buy any food. I can lose my job, I can lose my house, anything can happen, I got five members in my house. The layoff is just not the dollars and cents being saved, it's the impact, it impacts our schools. I mean if kids are going, if kids are going to school worried about why their father's sitting at home or their mother's sitting at home, that impacts all the kids whose parents didn't get laid off.